Purdue's gone a little younger. They're starting three freshmen now. Um, they seem to improve since they've gotten to the uh, younger lineup. Can you talk about that and kind of the problems they present? Well, I, I think when you look at them, and, and there's no question, they're playing a lot of young guys, and and, and yet uh, their veterans, uh, Bird and Johnson, uh, you know, are, are, are also really stepping up and playing well for them right now. But, uh, you know, with Raphael and Ronnie and, and the Hammonds, uh, the, you know, they, they're really starting to, you can tell they're getting games under their belt, and they're getting better every time they play. And so... There, there's no question. They, their last, you know, when you look at their last five, six games, uh, you, you see a team that's uh, getting better every time they walk on the court. Do, you, do they present any challenges that you guys really haven't seen yet this year? Well, I think every every team in this league presents a different challenge uh, because of style of play, what they do defensively. Uh, you, you know, and, and, and in this game, you create even a different. Uh, Part because you know these kids know each other, uh, you know, and and so. Uh, but to say they create a different challenge, I, I don't think you know. I think every team in this league creates a different challenge, I mean, whether it's their inside guys, the perimeter guys, uh, you know. But I think when you look at every Big Ten team, you, you see a, most of them have a center that can do a great job, a, a point guard that knows what he's doing, a shooter like DJ Bird, you know. So you can just go right down the line, Teron being one of the better wings and driving the ball and, and Ronnie Johnson, you know, as a freshman point guard is doing a great job for him. So I, I, I think there's, you know, they create challenges just like every team we've played. How much does that play into it when kids are so familiar with each other, do you think? Well, I, I think, you know, probably the kids think about it a little bit, but once the game starts, I'm not sure, you, you know, whether I played with you in AAU doesn't have a lot to do with it. Um, and so I, I, you know, I, but I, I would guess, you know, that's something you probably have to ask the, the veteran guys and, you know, Brian Evans and Joel Hulk Hillman just talked to our team. You know, you, they could probably give you a better perspective of, of that and playing with guys that you played in the summer and now you're playing with them in this game. It's, it, I'm sure there's, there's some emotion to it for all the kids. How At Wyoming or other stops you had along the way, did you have rivalries that compared to Indiana Purdue? Well, I'm not sure there's any rivalries. There's not many in the country that compare to Indiana Purdue. Uh, you, you know, maybe Kansas, Kansas State. You know, uh, uh, I don't know. I, I don't know how many of them you can you can find where it's truly the biggest game. And and uh, so, I you know, I, I think every level has something that they probably look at. But uh, it, when you, when you think of this state, it, it, it's about one game. How has your perspective on it personally changed since you've been here for, for years now and, and recruited against them? How has your perspective changed from when you got here to where it is now? Well, I, again, I think I walked in understanding it probably be a pretty big game and, and having you know had a player that played there in Roy Harrison and, and knowing how he felt about it. And, and so, I, you know, I, I think, again, you sense how big it is. And, and I think our veteran guys will do a great job of making sure our young players understand how big, big a game it is. In terms of them just knowing each other, I mean, how much easier is kind of to give a scouting report? I mean, because, you know, Yogi Ferrell's had to play with <coughs> Johnson before. These guys have had to play all these guys before. They know exactly who you're talking about. In some ways it is, but in some ways it's not because when you get so wrapped up in what we're doing and every game is another prep and you're studying other guys, I, they may think back to it, but just like Yogi's gotten better, Ronnie's gotten better. So Yogi's got to understand what he's got better at. And as, as I'm sure the Purdue coaches will make sure that Ronnie knows what Yogi's gotten better at since his senior year in high school. So I, I think there is some of it, but yet you also got to make sure they understand where guys have gotten better. How has Hammond's changed just when you've watched him, I mean, even from kind of AAU to the beginning of his freshman year to now, and, and how much has he changed maybe what they can do with a presence like that in the middle? Well, he, he, he creates a, a big guy in the middle for them that, you know, offensive rebound-wise, he's just big. Uh, he, he doesn't, you know, he gets his hands up and he gets his hands on balls. And, and then defensively, he creates a, a, a big presence for them in the middle, blocking shots and, and plugging that lane up. So he, you know, he's continued to grow and get better as a player from, from what I've seen to this point. You talked a little bit about Ronnie and, and Yogi. They share so much in common. Can you contrast 
those, those two, and at least in terms of how they are on the court? You know, I again, I, I think it's hard to compare them because they're such different players, in my opinion. Um, and, you know, I saw them play one time in high school against each other, and, and other than that, never saw them truly go head to head that many times because we can't see guys that many times. So, I, I you know, I, I think what, what you, you know about them both is, it's maybe the most important thing, is they're both very, very highly competitive kids. And, and that's what it's about. Got time for one more with Coach? Because you said, I mean, you said they're very different players. How do you see them as vastly different? What, what do you think is, I mean, obviously, like, Ronnie's like a lefty and Yogi's a righty and all that kind of yeah, stuff. There you What's go. the biggest difference? <laughs> um, what, what strikes you as so different about them, I guess, is one person. Well, I, I, I just think, and when I say vastly different, I, don't, I, don't, I just think they're different in the sense of, you know, if you evaluated their games, you'd say, well, Ronnie's, you know, in high school, Ronnie was known that he could drive it and he throws up those runners. You know, well, you don't see Yogi shoot a lot of runners. He's more of a pull-up shooter. So when I when I talk about differences, it's like that. They, they've both got things they're very good at, but they've developed their games differently. Thanks, Steve. Thank you.